Colorado is not alone in its fire trouble. Forests are being scorched across the southwest, and everybody is fighting for resources at the tail end of an exhausting firefighting season. Nine News reporter Ryan Hare asked how this is affecting the fight against the largest fire in state history. The wind blowing smoke across the front range poses the greatest risk to the fight tonight. Also causing problems, though, a lack of resources. Fire managers at the Cameron Peak Fire say they need much more help than they have, but they aren't counting on backup. So there's always a competition when you get that kind of level of demand. Steve We're Kleist with the Rocky Mountain Incident, Incident Command Team board. explains fire managers in Colorado are not alone. Fire managers across the burning Southwest want what they can't have. And we would like a number of things. One of them is type one hand crews. Um, we always want more resources, but the competition for resources has been significant. Right now, there are about 1,600 people working the Cameron Peak Fire, over 100 fire engines and 15 helicopters. It's a big response, but less than what's been requested. The National Interagency Coordination Center has to prioritize. The things that drive our success of getting requests are values at risk, um, people, property, infrastructure. 250 structures have burned in the Cameron Peak fire. The fight has cost nearly $94 million, but some voluntary evacuations have been lifted. And with fires near Boulder causing more evacuations Wednesday, more local resources must be focused there, as many firefighters hope for calm winds and snow to put the effects of a hot, dry summer to bed. Um, there's a certain level of fatigue and response. There's plenty of people who've got 70, 80 days on fires this year so far. So there's a point where a person has to take care of himself and say, I just can't respond anymore. Outbreak data just released from the state's health department shows 45 people fighting the Cameron Peak Fire have tested positive for COVID-19. That's 45 less people working on the largest wildfire in state history, now 320 square miles. In Loveland, Ryan Herrer, 9 News.